हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कोरांदे फ्रॉम माय चॅनेल टीच इझी इन दिस व्हिडिओ लेक्चर वी विल सी हाऊ टू कॅल्क्युलेट द मुवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ अ बिल्टअप सेक्शन फॉर दॅट पर्पज लेट मी टेल यू फर्स्ट वॉट डू वी मीन बाय बिल्टअप सेक्शन मेनी अ टाइम्स फॉर द मेंबर्स कॅरिंग व्हेरी हेवी लोड a single structural section is not sufficient in that case we have to make the combination of different structural sections which is known as a built up section so let us solve one problem of movement of inertia of built up section a column section is built up using two channels ISJC 200 and two plates 250 mm by 10 mm two channel sections and two plates as shown in the figure calculate movement of inertia about xx and yy axis of built up section we are given the properties of standard channel section properties of isjc 200 area of each channel is 1777 mm square ixx is 1.16 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 and iyy is 0.084 into 10 raised to 7 mm raised to 4 cyy that is uh, distance of yy axis of each channel from the back is 19.7 mm now let us see how the arrangement is this built up section is given as shown in the figure so this is a channel section this is one channel this is another channel they are placed back to back with a distance between their backs as 100 mm and these plates are given as 250 mm by 10 mm now let us see what are the overall dimensions overall width is 250 mm and what is the overall depth as it is channel section is isjc 200 the depth of the channel is 200 plus 10 mm plus 10 mm so in all it will be 200 and 20 mm so 20 mm i have already 10 mm i have already shown so this depth of each channel is given as what is this depth 200 so overall depth is 200 plus 10 plus 10 that is 220 okay we want to find out the movement of inertia of this built up section about horizontal xx axis and vertical yy axis okay so let us start with this now let us find out ixx ixx for this channel section is equal to 2 into bracket i x x of one channel plus times i x x of one plate the x x axis of each channel and x x axis of the built up section are coinciding with each other therefore 
you can directly substitute it without using the parallel axis theorem okay but for plates it will be different now what it is let us see a is equal to 2 into bracket what is ixx for one channel it is given as 1.16 into 10 raised to 7 this is ixx of one channel xx axis of the plate and xx axis of the section are different so we will have to use parallel axis theorem so plus Two times we have already done because there are two plates one at the top and one at the bottom for ixx what is ixx of the plate self b that is 250 into d cube that is 10 cube divided by 12 this is self movement of inertia of the plate plus area into h square what is area of one plate area of one plate is 250 into 10 that is 2500 into h square now what is h this is most important this is xx axis of each plate and this is xx axis of the complete built up section so h will be distance from here to here now the total depth is 220 therefore this distance is 110 minus this particular distance that is 10 by 2 so what will be h 110 how 110 is calculated do you understand this is 200 so this is 110 minus h by 2 that is 10 by 2 do not forget to square it so once again i will repeat look here ixx for the channel as xx axis of the channel and total xx axis coincide it is a directly 1.16 into 10 raised to 7 plus xx axis of plate is different than xx axis of the section therefore we will have to use parallel axis theorem so self movement of inertia is b d cube by 12 plus area is 250 into 10 and h square h is this distance which is this total distance which is 100 plus 10 110 minus 10 by 2 bracket square and you will find that this ixx comes out to be 78.40 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 so this is the answer of ixx of the built up section therefore ixx will be ixx of the channel section plus ixx of the plates do you follow this now let us see what is iyy now for iyy this is yy axis therefore the plates are symmetrical about yy axis therefore it is not necessary to use parallel axis theorem but for channel section it is necessary because this is yy axis of the channel so from here to here you will have to shift therefore what will be that value of h this value of h will be this is 100 so this distance is 50 plus this distance is c y y this distance is 50 and this distance is c y y that is given as 
7. Okay? So let us write the expression for i, y, y. Again, I will write i, y, y is equal to 2 into bracket i, y, y of one channel. Write it clearly so that you will not get confused plus i y y of one plate so again i will write two times into bracket What is I, Y, Y of one channel? You have to shift it from here to here. Okay? So I, Y, Y is given. That is 0 0.084 into 10 raised to 7. Using parallel axis theorem, you will have to shift it. Area. Area of one channel is given as 1, 7, 7, 7. Into h square. Just now I have told you what is h. h will be 50 plus cyy that is 19. 0.7 square of that. For plate it is simple because they are symmetrical. Yy axis of the plate and yy axis of built up section are coinciding. So it will be db cube by 12. Therefore what is d? d is 10. What is b? b is 250 cube divided by 12. So while calculating Ixx, not. So you have to use a parallel axis theorem for plates. But for IYY, plates are symmetrical, but the channels are not. Therefore, you have to shift I, Y, Y of channel from here to here. If you calculate with a scientific calculator, you will find that the value of I, Y, Y comes out to be 45 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. This is the value of I, Y, Y. So do you understand? So in this manner, we can find out I, X, X and I, Y, Y of built up section. Another built up section can be two angle sections on either side of gusset plate. Okay. There can be two channels, two to two. These are back to back. So these are same thing. So you have to understand the symmetry of the particular section and accordingly where it is necessary to use parallel axis theorem, you have to use it. I think you have followed this particular problem. Thank you.